Apple's spaceship is getting its finishing touches. The latest drone video of the $5 billion HQ have revealed the final landscaping touches being made to the huge campus. It shows the landscaping that has transformed the giant building site into a lush green park. Much of the large construction equipment has been removed from the campus as it is no longer needed. Officially known as Apple Park, it is believed some staff have already moved into the new Cupertino campus in April, the firm said today. The parklands offer two miles of walking and running paths for employees, plus an orchard, meadow, and pond within the ring's interior grounds. David McFly, the expert dubbed the Apple's tree whisperer last year revealed the incredible lengths Apple went to in a bid to fulfill Steve Jobs' vision, even buying a Christmas tree farm in Nevada. McFly said the biggest challenge was finding enough trees, especially as the number rose from Jobs' original 6,000 to the current goal of 9,000. When Jobs presented his plan to the Cupertino City Council in June 2011, he said that Apple would add to the 3,700 existing trees for a total of 6,000, but this proved impossible, so new trees had to be brought in. The process of moving more than 12,000 people will take over six months, and construction of the buildings and parklands. Before his death in 2011, Apple co-founder Steve Jobs set out to create one of the most futuristic buildings ever created. Steve was exhilarated and inspired by the California landscape, by its light and its expansiveness, said Maureen Pala Jobs. It was his favorite setting for thought. Apple Park captures his spirit uncannily well. He would have flourished, as the people of Apple surely will, on this luminously designed campus. To honor his memory and his enduring influence on Apple in the world, the theater at Apple Park will be named the Steve Jobs Theater, Apple said last year. The entrance to the 1,000-seat auditorium is a 20-foot-tall glass cylinder, 165 feet in diameter, supporting a metallic carbon fiber roof, and opened last year for the launch of the iPhone X. The Steve Jobs Theater is situated on top of the hill, one of the highest points within Apple Park, overlooking meadows in the main building. Steve's vision for Apple stretched far beyond his time with us. He intended Apple Park to be the home of innovation for generations to come, said Tim Cook, Apple's CEO. The workspaces in parklands are designed to inspire our team as well as benefit the environment. We've achieved one of the most energy-efficient buildings in the world, and the campus will run entirely on renewable energy. The campus is ring-shaped. 2.8 million square foot main building is clad entirely in the world's largest panels of curved glass, and the firm's fanatical attention to detail is seen throughout.
Steve invested so much of his energy creating and supporting vital, creative environments, said Joni Ive, Apple's chief design officer. We have approached the design, engineering and making of our new campus with the same enthusiasm and design principles that characterize our products. Connecting extraordinarily advanced buildings with rolling park light creates a wonderfully open environment for people to create, collaborate and work together. We have been extremely fortunate to be able to work closely, over many years, with the remarkable architectural practice Foster Plus Partners. Apple Park will also include a visitor center with an Apple Store and Cafe open to the public, a 100,000-square-foot fitness center for Apple employees, secure research and development facilities and the Steve Jobs Theater. Harrison flyover of Apple's mothership reveals the massive 5 billion dollars, 4 billion pounds, campus 2 is nearly complete. The incredible drone images also reveal the astonishing attention to detail of the site. From the arrangement of electrical wiring to the finish of a hidden pipe, no aspect of the 2.8 million square foot main building has been too small to attract scrutiny. Since Apple unveiled its plans in 2011, the move-in date has slowly receded. Jobs' initial projection was 2015, but this spring now seems most likely, according to people involved in the project. More than $1 billion, 800 million pounds, was allocated for the interior of the main building alone, according to a former construction manager. The campus is something of an exception to the trend of radically open offices aimed at fostering collaboration, said Luis Masingo, a professor and chair of the Department of Landscape Architecture and Environmental Planning at University of California, Berkeley. Its central office building, a massive ring of glass frequently likened to a spaceship, could be a challenge just to navigate, she noted. It's not about maximizing the productivity of the office space, it's about creating a symbolic center for this global company, she said. They are creating an icon. Technology companies have long favored generic office parks, but the Apple Campus too marks a new chapter in Silicon Valley architecture. The company's keen design sense enhanced the project, 
but its expectations sometimes clashed with construction realities, a former architect said. With phones, you can build two very very minor tolerances, he said that you would never design to that level of tolerance on a building. The doors were jammed. Out. Apple's novel approach to the building took many forms. Architect German Volatori, who worked on the project, found many of the proportions, such as the curve of a rounded corner, came from Apple's products. The elevator button struck some workers as resembling the iPhone's home button, one former manager even liking the toilet's sleek design to the device. But Mr. Dilatori ultimately saw that Apple executives were not trying to evoke the iPhone per se, but rather following something akin to the platonic ideal of form and dimension. They have arrived at design principles somehow through many years of experimentation, and they are faithful to those principles, Mr. Dilatori said. Early in construction, Apple managers told the construction team that the ceiling, composed of large panels of polished concrete, should be immaculate inside and out, just as the inside of the iPhone's audio jack is a finished product, a former construction manager recalled. Things you can't see, they all matter to Apple, the former construction manager said.